Moderna and Merck releasing results of phase two trials of a personalized mRNA cancer vaccine in combination with Keytruda. And according to the report, the results demonstrated a statistically significant and clini clinically meaningful a reduction in the risk of disease, recurrence, or death compared to using Keytruda alone. In stage three and stage four melanoma patients, join us now, Moderna CEO Stefan Bonsell. I, when was the disruptor? Welcome. Good to see you. We did this, the disruptors uh, day. It was about two and a half, maybe three months ago, and the trials were ongoing. You had some positive data from previous trials, but this is more definitive, Stefan? Yes. Good morning, Joe. We are very excited because this is definitive. A study has read out 12 months out. And as you said, the p-value, the statistical significance of a study is real. These data are real. We designed the study to be powered. Uh, as you know, the control arm was Ketudra alone, which is the gold standard in cancer. And so showing a 44% reduction of recurrence or death is a big deal for cancer patients. So we are very excited. We are moving very quickly with Merck on two phase three for this study. We, of course, will talk to regulators to see what we can do to accelerate this as much as we can. And we believe from a mechanistic standpoint, Joe, that we're able to teach T cell how to recognize your own cancer. And so we want to go aggressively in many different cancer at the same time in phase three in parallel, because we believe everywhere where Ketidra works, this should work. And we believe there might even be places where Ketidra doesn't work, where Ketidra plus Moderna PCV, personalized cancer vaccine, could work. So it's a big day for patients. The proof of concept you're, you're comfortable, much more comfortable with now. Can I just ask you, so there's solid tumors, there's, there, there's blood cancer, there's all kinds of, of cancers. They're, they're all personalized, Stefan, but do they all have these epi, uh, neo-epitopes? I don't want to get too into the weeds here, but do they all have different characteristics than normal cells that you can use to design the mRNA vaccine against? Do, almost all cancers have that, so you, you could theoretically go after a lot of different solid tumors or even uh, blood cancer? So that's correct, Joe. So at this stage, we think that solid tumors, uh, which is around 90% of cancer cases, uh, are the right place for us to start. Okay. Uh, as you know, cancer is a mutation of healthy DNA. Uh, now, we, thanks to sequencing technology, we're able to basically look very precisely what mutation do you have in your cancer right now, compare this to a healthy cell of your body, and design a product within you know, 45 days today, soon it's gonna be 30 days, just designed for you to teach your T cell how to recognize the mutation of your cancer. Right. So the key true to cancer cells are, are, are devious because they try to fool the immune system into not recognizing them. So the key true to sort of tries to strip away that the sort of the mask so that your immune system can see it. And then this, what, this ramps up the number of T cells that, that go after this specific tumor because the, the T cells should already see that tumor. They already see what you're, you just, what are you doing, multiplying the number of copies so that it, 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 they make many more T cells, or that your body makes a lot more T cells? Because they already know, they see these neoepitopes already in the tumor. So introducing more copies makes it much more potent. I don't think it's necessarily more copies, Joe. I think it's teaching new epitopes that the T cell don't recognize. In the data we presented at ASCO in the spring of 2019, we showed that a lot of cancer patients, that we take the blood before our treatment and after, before the treatment, a lot of their T cell don't recognize some of the epitope that we know exists in a cancer cell because we sequenced it. And we code that instruction in our product. And three or four of those, those are three weeks apart. Three or four days after, we take the blood again of those cancer patients, and we see now, thanks to our product, their T cell can recognize more epitopes. So I think that is really important in terms of recognition of new epitope and more epitope, so that as your cancer evolves, you can keep it in check because there's 34 mutations coded in every one product for patients.